What is up guys, it's your boy Sesco from Video Games Underground and it is a very exciting day today because the alpha codes have been launched. Yes, check your emails, check your spam folders because the alpha codes have gone live. What you need to make sure you have is the Epic Launcher. When you get the code, it's gonna come in the email just like this and you're gonna copy your code. Don't use mine, it's already been used. You're gonna come over here to the Epic Store and you're gonna see where it says redeem code. You're just gonna paste that code in there, redeem it, and voila. We now have Auto Legends via the Epic Store. So you'll go ahead and start downloading it like this. Mine says Queen. Obviously something is not working right. Let me figure this out. One second. Ah, Fortnite. God damn it, Fortnite. Let me stop that. Oh, here it goes, Rocket League. Rocket League has been canceled. Geishin Impact, cancel. And there we go. Initializing, here we go. Downloading, really, really exciting. For those of you that do not know, this is a process that has been going on for the better part of almost two years now. Uh, we have been assisting with certain aspects of this. Uh, we have dragged members of community into this as well. For those of you that have been helping, you are very much appreciated. For all of our boosters that have maintained our Discord server and have maintained a thoroughly boosted server, we really appreciate you guys. All of our servers, all of our boosters, will be getting codes for this alpha. As a thank you for your cons constant support of this community. You guys have allowed us to always have a banner, a custom invite, all the bells and whistles that come with being a fully boosted server, our server boosters have allowed us to maintain. So we are thoroughly grateful to you guys. Here we go, five, four, three, two, one. Download complete. And then let's see how this works. Oh, just launch right into it. Perfect. So normally, yes, when you start it, the first time you start it, it's basically making the folders on your device. So you're going to close it, shut it down, and then you're going to reopen it. Now, when you reopen it, the second to go back to the Epic Store. There we go. And library. Oh, well, I can just shortcut here. Auto Legends. And here we are. Now it's launching into the game. Your profile has been created on your computer and you'll be able to actually utilize the game now. Bum, bum, bum. Welcome to Alpha. Press space bar to start. You really should have like a rev right there. Like, or like, wah, bah, bah, bah. so here we are. Look how freaking awesome this looks. We start off with a GSR, and I have to tell you guys, I've had two of these. I had two of them at the exact same time, and I love these cars. But this looks damn good. I can't express how much I'm enjoying this. Make sure you hit the plus right here. It'll give you an extra $100,000, and that 100000 will come into play when it comes to tuning and building your vehicle. I'm gonna lower the volume a little bit. That way you can make sure you can hear me as we walk through this process. But look at this car, guys. For those of you that were, let's say, racing rivals, can you imagine having your car and being able to build it and look this beautiful? You know, with your Copo wheels, your prize rims, your custom wrap, your body kit, all the, all the items that we enjoyed. Imagine being able to see them in such a high quality. So what we're gonna do right now is we're gonna go ahead and head over to the Speed Lab, which is basically the shop on the game. This is gonna be where we're gonna be able to tune and build the cars. So here's our Integra, we're gonna head over to performance. Now this is the setup for modifying your vehicle. It's a little bit different than what we're used to. It has a slider, not like a massive, massive fan of this, but it is how the game is set up currently. So give your input, do you think this is awesome? Do you think this is cool? I don't mind it, I'm not for it, I'm not against it, but I just think it's a, it's a little bit off when it comes to building the car. I do think that the Overall functionality of this area is pretty great. I do like all the different options that it shows you. I do like the fact that 
instead of having to purchase each part individually, if you look off to the right side, you can see our cart. And basically it's just adding all of the different items to our cart. That way at the end of it, we'll be able to check out. And then you actually even have a total there at the bottom that is kind of going up as the different items are being added as well. This is of course different from any game that we have had in this lineage. I know we're always saying, oh, well it's not the same franchise, but you know, it, so here we are. We just installed all the parts. We're gonna speed it up with the gold, boom. Head back to the speed lab. Now we're gonna do some visual effects. So again, we have multiple parts uh, with some wheels there at the bottom. So we're gonna go ahead and start. Now, of course, this is an alpha, so that's why some of the images that are used, as you can see the Subaru logo, these are just placeholders for actual logos, actual um, visual IDs that, that are gonna be associated with these parts. So, like I said, this is just, remember, this is alpha, guys. I think one of the most important things to remember about alpha is that this game is just to test the racing, the feel, the overall aesthetics of the game. All the other stuff, the the story mode or uh, single player mode or the tournaments and all, everything else is going to come later. This is just to see, do you like the way this feels? Do you enjoy racing? Do you like building your cars? Do you like the launch? Do you like the shifting? Do you, what, like, what would you change? Where would you go? What would you make different? That's what this is. So give, give your honest opinion. Like there is no wrong answers here. Everybody's gonna have a different opinion. Everybody's gonna have a different feel. Everybody's gonna either enjoy or not enjoy. You know, it, there is no wrong answer. Let them know how you feel. Let them know what sticks out to you, what makes you happy, what, you know, like, I just, to me, being able to build these cars is awesome. Like, I'm, I'm, this is my favorite thing to do is to sit here and build cars. Now, one of the things that's gonna be different for us than it was on Racing Rivals is this part right here. The ability to change your stance. Now, we've seen pictures, but we, the, <laughs> dumping this thing the thing is is we we've seen pictures but the pictures don't do it justice because without actually getting to enjoy the game for what it is like live and actually being able to mess with this stuff you don't understand just how much uh, ability you have on here so i think we had a ford probe that they had put out as a promo photo and that promo photo was beautiful it was stanced it was slammed and everybody was like photoshop photoshop it was not photoshopped you are able to do this in the game. We can camber this thing out. We can slam this thing. We can put little tiny lowrider wheels and you know, it, there's so many options that they're giving us. Like I just, I don't see, I don't see any other game with these kind of options aside from maybe like a need for speed game. You know what I mean? And and even then, you know, it's, it's a setup game. It's not gonna have any of the things that we have heard about coming. And I, I think that's why it's one of those one of those moments where we have to just kind of sit back and enjoy it for a second because this game is giving us those options. This game is giving us those abilities. And I couldn't be more grateful for this opportunity to play this game. So that being said, if you haven't gotten a code, just stick to it because they are gonna be releasing codes every couple of days in batches. So for somebody that maybe didn't get a code today, maybe you'll get one tomorrow, maybe you'll get one Friday, who knows? But just keep checking your emails, keep checking. Make sure that you did go to the website and make sure you signed up to take part in the alpha testing because that's really the only way you're gonna be able to take part. So now that we have our car built, let's go ahead and head over to the hangers. There's two tracks. The first one is the bridge and we've seen the bridge. The bridge actually has basically racing rivals racing which is auto launching and then just shifting in nitrous. This, the actual Tustin track, has what I consider to be real racing. This is where you see the vehicles doing a burnout and doing a proper launch with RPMs raised, you know, trying to find that perfect RPM launch area. Now the game is gonna tell you uh, where it would be a good RPM launch, but without actually sitting there and testing and trying and 
verifying, there's not going to be any way to know for sure whether or not this is the best possible place to launch. So put that time in, learn where the best launch is. Look at, I mean, this, man, I could not be happier with the way this looks. Look at my little Integra. Just, ah. <laughs> this is great. Let's go ahead and hit him with some uh, nitrous purging. Tss, 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 tss. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So this is the racing. We're going to rev up a little bit. Try to get a good launch on our opponent without spinning the tires. Ooh. There we go. Oof. Missed first. Over rev a little bit. Perfect shift for second. As you can see in the top, we are pulling away. So I'm going to start using some of the emojis. Boom, finish the race. Look how the car just looks great. The car looks clean, it looks nice. Here comes the RX-7. Look at this, look at this, just this, 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 this scene right here looks awesome. Not just the, the cars, but just the scene in general. You know, the clouds are moving in the background. You got people in the crowd, like, just, it's a great experience right now. And it's only gonna get better and like I said, they want your input. How do you feel about this? Do you enjoy this? Does it look good? I mean, to me it does, but you know, I, I just like they want to see what everybody else has to say about this. So here's another one of the cool aspects of the car. It's kind of like this need for speed mode where you can look around your vehicle. Look how badass this interior looks. Literally spent five minutes on it and look how great it looks. Imagine once we start getting where we can put graphics, custom rims, custom, you know, body kits and all kinds of other stuff on this car. The possibilities are gonna be absolutely endless. And just, I think it looks great. And mind you, this is not a top of the line computer that I'm on. This is just a regular everyday kind of work computer, but I think it looks great. I'm super excited about it. And I, I just, overall, I think these, these scenes that they're putting together are awesome. Now make sure that you change your name when you get into the game. Mine's going to be BG Sesco, as always. But look, I am 111, so that means there's already 110 other people on here racing. So I need to get to work. <laughs> but real quick, I did want to go to Fast Eddie's because I know somebody had asked me about that. Fast Eddie's is basically the car lot. You're just going to see a whole bunch of cars, a whole bunch of different colors. There's the NSX, a couple of Bug Eye Subarus. Uh, just different things that you can hop into, different vehicles that you can enjoy. This is a Mitsubishi 3000 GT. I mean, just look how great this car looks. You know what I mean? Like, this looks legitimate, and I couldn't be happier. So good luck, guys. I'll see you on the track. God bless, and let's see where we go. Get set to represent.